Hey Colt fans, Justin Baldini, Director of Marketing for Colt here. This week on Topic Tuesday, we're going to take a look at the Colt Combat Elite Series, a family of products from Colt that has some real premium features. We're going to walk through it and see what makes it special. So for the Combat Elite family of products, we started with stainless steel forgings for both the slide and the frame. And uh, what that does is it allows us to do something special with the finish. What we've done is we actually come and we DLC coat the entire gun and then we flap out the frame and the slide. That's what kind of gives it that unique two-tone look. So we did the same thing with the hammer, we sided the hammer, um, and, then, uh, and then that's again what gives you the, uh, the the black inside of the slide serrations, the, the pony gets a little bit filled in, and uh, kind of just gives it, again, that unique look. These all do have a national match stainless steel barrel in them, uh, whether it's 45 or 9 millimeter. Um, 25 LPI checkering on the frame and on the mainspring housing. Um, Again, those are uh, really kind of premium upgrades that you'd usually pay a bunch of money for to have uh, folks do for you, but these are included in these pistols. The thumb safeties are ambidextrous on all the models uh, to include the Defender and the Commander. This one happens to be a Commander that we're looking at here today. And then, uh, of course, last but not least, they have genuine Novak 3.9 night sights. So these are tritium sights. These are going to these are gonna glow in the dark. Um, so that when you're in low light or no light situations, you can still see those three dots on the on the sights. So these are available in government, commander, and defender size in both 45, ACP, and 9mm. So that's a total of six SKUs as a part of that Combat Elite family. These are available now uh, in cold stocking dealers, and uh, go check them out. So there you have it, Colt fans. That's the Colt Combat Elite Series. Make sure you leave us some comments below so we've got some more topics for next week's Topic Tuesday.